Um, life in the U.S. is 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 manageable. You know, um, I'll say I've been treated well from the time I was in school um, to after school life, going into my pro career. I think life in the U.S. has been has been pretty good. Yeah. Um. So, um, the two hundred record. Uh, when I got to the States, it took about two or three years to break it because I got there in um, early 2017 and 2019 NCAA championship was when I broke it. The conditions were, were pretty were pretty good. Um, it was on a pretty fast track in Texas. And so I just had to make sure I used the, the track to my advantage and also the good weather. Um, just going there, execute the race. And, um, I didn't even know I had broken it until I came off the track and then one of the officials told me that I'd in the national record. So it was it was an amazing feeling, but I mean, um, I just thank God and, you know, for blessing my hard work. Um, it's, it's, it's been about seven years since I competed in Ghana, my last time. Um, that was, I think, 2016 GUSA. Um, I feel blessed. I feel, I feel it's amazing to be able to come home and compete in front of the home crowd. Um, I'm very happy because it's it's just you know competing in front of your your fans and your family, and you know after all these years of uh, running a relay and individual event for Ghana Olympics and World Championships and other events and um, other competitions, now I'm home to compete in front of home fans. So I feel like it's a blessing, and I can't wait to run in front of them. I think I think it's just mentally you know getting your mind mentally right, um, trying to stay mentally tough. We train really hard, so it's only right that we go into the competitions, um, you know, with our minds right, knowing that we've trained hard and we're ready to compete. Yeah. Um, I think the record, if you say the record was broken quickly, um, I don't know how to measure that, but I think it took about two years. And I'll say I just had to make sure I use my time and the opportunity that I had in the States, um, the equipment and everything that was available for me I had to make sure I use it right and you know that was my fault. to my advantage that so was my fault. I think that's that's one of the big factors that went into me breaking the record yeah um when I when I heard when I heard that James had broken the record um I was in shock actually um it is only right that you know more Ghanaians are, are running fast right now um more Ghanaians are being exposed to really good facilities and um you know training to, to to help them enhance their talent so when i heard it i was happy for him he's a very humble guy i have a really cordial relationship with him and um it's it's, it's only right that we have more people running fast because it's only going to help the country get bigger um in the track and field and the times that are coming out are, are very impressive so i was happy for him and it's only going to get the competition up so from now you know hey you got to work hard if you want to get the record again so i was just happy and it's just it's, it's time to it's time to go to work yeah i think i wonder um the african games in ghana i think it's 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 something that i've always dreamt of running for the home fans so coming out, out here in my home country to run the, the games is i feel it's 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 i'll say it's the best it's the best thing that happened to all of us who are still running for ghana because we don't know when we'll get an opportunity like this to be able to run it for the home fans. So I'll say we hosting it this time is is, is everything we've asked for. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want this anywhere that than Ghana. Yeah. Um, my family is very supportive. Um, my dad, I don't know if you saw him, he was he was around um, the whole time during practice and stuff like that, gearing towards the games. Like every day, almost every day, he was here. You know, giving support. Um, I talk to my mom every day. My little brother is also running at the high school competition in Kumasi. So um, at the right time, I'll be able to talk to him. My sister is also supportive. Um, my big brother be calling me, checking up on me, you know, giving me advice on how to, you know, um, stay safe in, in Ghana and all that stuff. So family is very supportive. And my uncle, he's, he's been a big inspiration to me, even when I was in Ghana. So when I went there, coming back, you know, we always talk and he's, he's, he's a very big inspiration to me. Yeah. I train hard. I train really hard. So um, I go into every competition trying to win or trying to make the podium. The history has it that um, I had the bronze medal that I won at 
Commonwealth Games was one of the medals Ghana had won in a very long time in the, in the sprints. So I think um, there's a little bit of pressure, but I can only use that pressure as a motivation to myself to, you know, run faster rather than making it, you know, um, have a negative effect on my, on my races. So I'm going to use that pressure to boost myself and um, run race by race, make it to the finals and possibly make the podium. I'll say uh, we having the, the, the record only tells us that we're the best um, in Africa and other countries also want to be the best. So I think they will see it as the right time to beat us on our home you know, track to, to, to get their title. So we have a job to do, which is, you know, going to the race and win it. So um, with the, with the, with the, um, the positions that we're going to run, we have a pretty fair idea, but I'll say everybody is ready to compete. So whenever you called, you just have to step up and uh, we, 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 we've had some pretty good exchanges at practice. So we're hoping that everybody stays healthy and we'll go out there and compete. Um, I don't, I don't think anything is keeping me too long. It's just, um, races, races are supposed to be, you know, executed. If you don't execute it, it's a very fast race, a very fast, um, 100, 200 meters is a very fast race. So you can't make mistakes anywhere. And, um, I think we just have to, I just have to execute my race and get very good conditions and at the right time. Whatever I'm looking for, I'm going to get it. Um, I'm not putting, setting a new record in my mind right now. I just want to go into the race and make sure that I finish healthy, uh, round by round, make it to the finals and make the podium. If the record comes, it comes back. If it doesn't, we go back to the drawing board. And besides, it's very early in the season. March is um, very early in the season. So um, we don't usually run um, high level competitions or major championships in March. So it being in March, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't put too much pressure on myself to go into the race trying to break a national record. If it happens, thank God for it. But if not, I'll just, you know, um, correct what I have to correct. I haven't been home. I haven't been home. I don't know, I'll focus on what I have, I came here to do first and then I'll see I'll see family and friends after that. So we have the relay heat on Tuesday. Um, really finals on Wednesday. I had the 200 heats and semifinals on Thursday and then the finals on Friday. Yeah, I just want to thank my family, um, my father, my mom, my siblings, my uncle, Dr. Victor Enfi. Um, like I said, he's been a very big inspiration to me, so I can't wait to see all of them, but at the right time, I know I'll see them. Yeah. Thank you so much.